Hello everyone, my name is Ted Lee. I'm with Clarion Events Fire and Rescue, and I'm at FDIC this year, walking the floor, uh, looking at all the amazing equipment here, and I have stopped by the DFib Tech location hey. to see their newest product. How are you? How are you, Amy? Good. Amy, nice, nice to meet, to meet you, you. So, uh, what do you have to show us today? Yeah, so I'm with DFib Tech. We are a company that focuses on uh, solely on resuscitation equipment and sudden cardiac arrest. Our mission at DFib Tech is to increase survival rates from sudden cardiac arrest. And uh, we manufacture all of our products here in the United States in Brantford, Connecticut. And what we do is AEDs as well as mechanical chest compression. And um, that's what our focus is. And we really think that we do high quality products that's at an affordable price point. So this seems like um, a common technology or one that, that is becoming common? It's definitely becoming more common. I think especially since COVID-19, we're seeing more and more agencies use these. Um, because you're able to do more with less, it's really helping those agencies out that um, might be lacking some manpower or um, budget constraints. And so it really does enable them to have an extra pair of hands uh, when you look at it, it's very easy to deploy. It's designed to be easy to use, simple turn on. Ours, you can press a button down, it automatically is gonna find where it is on the chest. And then you hit a simple button. And now you're performing perfect compressions with at a rate of 100 per minute, two inch depth for up to a 60 minutes runtime on a full battery charge. On a full battery charge. Yeah. Um, how difficult or how easy is it to swap out batteries? Oh gosh, so that's one of the great things about our product is we're really trying to design this for real life use. So you can flip these batteries either way and it's gonna enable you to use it. It's gonna work no matter which direction you put that in. Again, we know that the, these scenes can be hectic. Running a code can be very difficult. So we're really just trying to cut down on the number of things and the number of steps that, right. that these uh, paramedics and EMS agencies need to do. So you're foci focusing on EMS agencies or EMS are agencies, fire, fire law departments. Military. So really, this device is intended to be used by uh, any medically qualified personnel that uh, is certified to administer CPR. Right. So not definitely not for the lay responder, lay rescuer. Certainly designed for your first responders. Great. Okay. Yeah. Um, so um, if somebody's looking for more information on this yeah. and the technology behind it, where would they go uh, to find that? Yeah. So um, our website, thefibtech.com, has a lot of fabulous uh, videos, a lot our spec sheets, manuals, a lot of brochures. So there's a lot of great information on that website that anybody would be able to, to find and download. And you have reps that cover the United States? We do. We yeah. do, of course. So we only sell through a network of authorized distributors. So we don't do any direct sales. But if anybody's interested, um, they can drop us a line on our website and we'll be able to get them in touch with one of our reps um, that can help them get in touch with somebody to make a purchase. Anything else that just you have to get off your chest about <laughs> your new technology? Um, you know, what I want to say is I think DeFibTech does a lot of things really well. And one of the things we do is designing, like I said, that the high quality product that's at an affordable price. So we really want this to be real world usage. Um, and that includes that longer battery life, uh, durable, hard, rigid frame, um, a product easy to deploy, easy for that. They don't really have to think about it. Thank you, Amy, for spending Absolutely. time with us today Ted, here at FDSA. Thank you for FDSA. stopping by. We appreciate you. Thank, thank you, you very much.